Look, God or getting readings on you. And either they done God or getting a reading on you or somebody, you know, connected to you in some shape, form, or fashion or connected to somebody you're watching a video for is getting readings on you connected. So let's see what's going on. Pay attention. Someone is out to destroy your reputation. Mm. Mm. What else do you need to know or be aware of? You have made this person a believer. And please accept my apologies. How can I make it up to you? Okay, so I got two different messages. First message is you have somebody who you were dealing with, whether this was a you know platonic connection or a romantic connection, this person did something to you, played you, gossiped, gossiped or paid attention to gossip. Fuck with somebody you didn't fuck with, something. But now that and you probably told this person they lying to you, they gon' they gon' you know do you like they did mean something. And whatever you told this person was gonna happen in that situation, it actually happened. And now this person wanna come back towards you and apologize and make something up to you. Like they could have chosen another friend over you, uh they could have you know, was, they could have been dick riding with somebody who was talking about you and they were supposed to be your friend or something. But it was somebody out to destroy your reputation. The other storyline is there is, okay, for some of y'all, there's confirmation that that's what happened. You were friends with somebody, whether this is, you know, family or a friend or whatever. And it was somebody that they were, you were enemies with, but they were cool with. And they, you told them. That this person was going to do them dirty or talk about them or whatever the case may be. They didn't believe you then, but they believe you now. And now they want to apologize for not listening to you. But they, they realized that whoever the other person was, they were definitely out to destroy your reputation. Because they were talking about you. But this particular friend, they was going along with it because they didn't know what was true and what wasn't true. But after being in the situation or being around this particular person, they start seeing this person for who they truly were. Others of y'all... There's an ex that you connected to. You told this person something about somebody that they connected to who was trying to destroy your reputation. And now they believe you. Whatever this person told. Look, do I ever cross your mind any time? Y'all remember the other day I woke up with the song in my head. Now it's playing. Child, do I ever cross your mind any time? So they go with this second part of what this could be. Your person was listening to some other fucking body in the past. They listened to a whole fucking lie. They was listening to rumors or gossip or something. They ran with that shit. And you told this person that's a lie. You told them whatever somebody's saying about you is not true. Well, now they're seeing the truth. You don't make this person a believer because now they're seeing the true colors of whoever this person is. And now they want to come and apologize for not listening to you in the beginning. And that's this ex. That's the ex that's doing that. They, they missing you. Look, asking mutual friends about you and shit. This is both scenarios. Shit. Is the collective still mad? What, you know, how they doing? Look, please talk to me. Friend or lover. This person want to talk to you, collective. <laughs> Look, the karmic looks up to you in an envious kind of way. So, whoever this person is that was out to destroy your reputation, they really look up to you. They want to be you. But again, unfortunately, you can't match energy. So, obviously, they could never be you. But this person who was listening to these lies and shit and allowed this person to ruin whatever y'all had going, now they wondering, do you still love them? This person is watching you. See them little eyes? They watching you because they do want to come towards you and express how they feel. But this person, they feeling stupid. They feel stupid. Look, knock me off my feet, Donnell Jones. You love to knock this person off the... Child. So your friends... Or your ex friends, your cousin, your sister, whoever. They was dick riding somebody who was talking about you. And you told this person they was gonna do them the same way and they did. <laughs> now they want their friend back. And whoever this person that was that was talking about you, they wanna be just like you, but they just mad that they can't be like you. She when it comes to the romantic situation, this person feels stupid for listening to these rumors, this gossip, this person. Because at the time, they didn't know this person was out to destroy your reputation. They was just really going, you know, uh, it's sad to say, but they was just really going by what this person was saying. Instead of asking you or coming to you to clarify or confirm some shit, they ran with it. And now they look at stupid because now it's... 
Now done came out that this person was lying to them the whole time. Look, they hope they can fix what's broken. I'm telling you, whoever this is, platonic or romantic, they want to fix what's broken. This is a friend. They want their friend back. If this is a, a old lover, they want to try to mend things with you, collective. Look, Archangel Michael is fighting for you. <laughs> and you are highly protected. In the angelic realms, you are highly protected if you got Archangel Michael fighting for you. So, I don't know, like, <clears throat> whoever this person was who trying to destroy your reputation. I'm telling you, you had Archangel Michael fighting for you. So, that's why something done been illuminated. That's why whoever this person is, friend or, or lover or whoever it is, that's why they're able to see the truth because Archangel Michael was fighting for you and they done exposed this person. They done exposed, look, white feathers. I cannot make it up. A lot of angelic protection. Y'all got a lot of angelic protection. Uh-oh. The karmic is slash was not pregnant. They are only wishing. So some of y'all, your lover was dealing with somebody. They told us your person they was married. I mean, they was pregnant and shit, but they wouldn't. The karmic is in despair about to lose Everything that's what they get, everything backfired because Archangel Michael was fighting, fighting for y'all. <laughs> y'all got a lot of angelic protection, and I feel like it's because you and this star seed as energy. So, whoever this is, whether it's a friend or it's a lover, they plan on coming back towards you, collect, and y'all not gonna even see this coming. But what they feel to realize is they're not gonna get the same person that they walked away from because y'all done tried. Look, I told y'all somebody done fucking been exposed. This person, whoever was out to destroy your reputation, this karmic energy, they have been exposed. Look, you are loved, child. And look, and because you love, the karmic is going crazy. You heard me. Because, baby, whoever your person is, this lover, they cannot let you go. They cannot let you go. They won't let you go. They can't and won't let you go. Hold it on. Okay, y'all. Y'all know I see some shit in store going from the bottom. But y'all got a lot of fucking angelic protection. Child, some of y'all dealing with somebody that y'all may think is y'all counterpart, but they not. They not, but this person is trying to manifest you. <laughs> but again, you are being protected by a host of heavenly fucking angels. And y'all in this unbothered ass energy anyway, and it's killing them. It's killing them, yeah, because they could never take your place. They could never be you. They could never take your place. And I don't know what made them think they could. So you got a karmic energy who was out to destroy your reputation in the past with your lover and with your friend or, you know, your sister, your family, your co-worker, whoever. They was talking about you, talking about your bad too. And whoever this person is that was listening to this shit, they look like a fucking fool now. Because not only do they not have this person to kick it with no more and talk to and run with, but they ain't got you either. So they want to know, do you still love them? Do you still care about them like you used to care about them when y'all were kicking it? friend or lover but all this 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 trying to ruin your reputation and slander your name and all of that shit that this karmic because this going diagonally pay attention someone is out to destroy your reputation the karmic looks up to you in an envious kind of way karmic is in despair about to lose everything this person thought that they could cross your life out make you irrelevant but guess what now they becoming irrelevant because y'all are highly fucking protected collective <laughs> highly protected you yeah. That's what this karmic didn't expect y'all to be as protected as y'all are. Spiritually. Some of y'all may be protected physically. I don't know. I probably got that thing hanging on y'all's side. <laughs> I don't know. But I ain't used the Star Tarot in a while, so. <coughs> let's use it today. So let's see. What is the message? When it comes to this karmic energy spirit, what do the collective need to know you're aware of? Ooh, they mad. Y'all heard them. Maybe this karmic mad as fuck. They can't ruin your reputation. They can't get nobody to believe them and side with them no more. Shit, they mad. They in despair. They about to lose everything. <laughs> Shit. What do the collective need to know about this karmic? Other than the motherfucker mad. Because every time I say, what do y'all need to know about the comic? Then I'm just like, do this little huff that, like she pissed off a man. None of your friends' business. Uh-uh. Genuine, baby. When I say, what's going on with the comic? Ain't none of this bitch business, male or female. What's going on with you? 
<laughs> it ain't y'all telling y'all person it ain't none of your friends business what's going on with me. But what do the people need to know when it comes to the comic? I'm telling you, they mad. They mad. See what I'm saying? Because somebody that they were talking to or slandering your name to has walked away from them and they pissed off about it. They pissed off about it. Whether it was your your person, your ex lover, your friend, or whoever. Somebody connected to you was listening to this bullshit at one point. And y'all told them everything that this person was telling you is a fucking lie. But now they didn't believe you, but they believe you now. Look, this king of cubs. <laughs> Some of can't cook. Like, but yeah, this king of cubs. This person, your lover, done walked away from this third party because they done found out that this comic is just a fucking hater and that they was lying the whole fucking time. The Knight of Swords is somebody who's very impulsive, so your person made an impulsive decision to walk away from you by listening to them. But look, death. Not only have they put an end to that situation, but they don't need, for some of y'all, they don't even block this person. They're not dealing with this person. They don't want to deal with this person. That's why they're in despair. Because they feel like they're losing. They feel like they're losing everything, but they aren't really losing everything. They're going to lose friends. They finna, people that were supporting them at one time won't be supporting them. Because again, y'all got a host of heavenly angels protecting y'all. Y'all got Archangel Michael fighting for y'all too. So whatever bad that they tried to put on your name, it's about to be put on this. And this King of Cups is like, fuck them. I believe you now. I'm sorry I didn't believe you, you know, before. But y'all got this wild up with this first one. Right there. This karmic, they is they getting the blues. Like they feeling it. They feeling the blues. What the hell? And I feel like they, they sad and depressed because whoever your person was like, that was with this comic or listening to this comic, they done walked away from him. Look, the hermit. I told you, they were stuck with this person at one point. That they This comic was keeping your person stuck in this hermit energy where they couldn't move, where they couldn't go nowhere, or even where they didn't want to go anywhere. But it's in the reverse. They done removed themselves out of this situation. Quick fast and in the motherfucking hurry. Shoot. Look, child, it's just too many, but the love is going right here. And it's because, see, they don't want something to be over with you. The world in the reverse, that's the only one. They don't want a, a cycle to be over with you, but, you know, they may have to come. Hmm, I don't know. I feel like a cycle is already over between you and this person. Because, again, they hope they can fix what's broken. Please talk to me. Uh, please accept my apologies. How can I make it up to you? Y'all are already not dealing with this person. <clears throat> There's already been a separation. Shit. So they definitely got to try to figure out a way to, you know, get you to work with them. <laughs> Six of Pentacles, child. This person says shit. They want to come back towards you. And, you know, they want to come and give to you now. They don't want to be with this damn karmic energy no more. Oh, that was on the, uh, <laughs> that, that one, I thought that was my damn phone ringing, y'all. That's the damn song. Okay, so why the Eight of Cups for, what's going on with the corner? Why the Eight of Cups? So I gotta get some smaller coins. Why the Eight of Cups? We're gonna clarify these, then we're gonna move on to your person, Kalisha. They thought they was going to destroy your reputation, but done destroyed things in the process. Or about to. They about to. You hear what I'm saying? Y'all heard them? Yeah, they mad. Three of swords. <laughs> so, clear about the Eight of Cups. For what's going on with the clock. People are walking away from this person. Turning their back on this person. Eight of Cups. Look at The strength crossing. The strength crossing. But Leo could be walking away from this person. But the people that they talking to, the people that the karmic had in their corner at one time is now losing faith. And they like feeling drained by this karmic energy. Page of Wands. They like, they don't want to, they hate that they ever even started talking to this person. Started listening to this damn person. Look, Ace of Swords. That's the truth. <clears throat> so now that's why the karmic is feeling some type of way because People that, like I said, used to dick ride the shit that they were saying about you ain't even listening to them no more. They could care less about what this comic got to say because they done seen this person's true color. They done been exposed. Knight of Swords. 
or this person, the karmic maybe won't know, you know, maybe communicate with you, maybe want to argue with you, fight with you. Child, look, yeah, they want to they say something to you. But I feel like they can't, though. They can't. They can't. Because, see, you're on a whole different level, and the, the, the universe is protecting you. You moving forward, going into greatness, and they trying to play catch up. They want to play catch up collective, but they can't. Seven, look, what is this? The, the seven of one, yeah, they want to play catch up. You see, they being blocked. Again, you are being protected by a host of heavenly angels. So anything that this third party try to do, it's not going to work. Slander, anything. Because, yes, yeah, somebody will listen momentarily, but it's not going to be able to stick collective. That's what I'm saying. It's not going to be able to stick. So whatever they were saying about you trying to ruin your reputation, it didn't stick. It didn't, it didn't stick. <laughs> like, I don't care what they say or what they are saying. It's not going to stick. So let that shit just roll off of you like water off a motherfucking duck. So that's all it's going to be in a minute. It's just fucking water that ran, ran out of somebody's motherfucking mouth that didn't know what the fuck they were talking about. That's all it is. Death. Person is loot, loot. Y'all thought I was playing. When I said this King of Cups said fuck them, I don't want to fuck with them no more. They losing it because they losing the person too. Whoever your person is, they losing that person. Look, Mighty Wands, yeah, that Playboy, that the, the person that you were dealing with that was in and out your life, hiding their true feelings for you, yeah, they losing that person. He losing this person. And now they're realizing that this person just used them as an option. And they mad about it. Five of Swords. Oh, baby, they mad. They mad. <laughs> Give me one more for death. And this King of Cups laughing at their ass. <laughs> Look, Page of Pentacles. They're laughing at them because they thought that they was going to, you know, get the prize. But this, see that King of Cups laugh? <laughs> and then look, the Page of Pentacles laugh. <laughs> they all going to laugh at me. Baby, I'm telling you, the comic is going crazy because they are laughing at them. Everybody laughing at this person. Everybody. And, and, and your person laughing at them because they like, man, they believe anything I tell them. They was dumb as fuck. They were so busy trying to ruin your reputation, not realizing that they were being exposed and they were being played the whole goddamn time. Ten of swords. Mm. So this, this ending that they going through is definitely painful. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be. Why the nine of wands for? Y'all heard them squeak the toy confirmation. Shit. Why the nine of wands for? For what's going on with this karmic energy? Look, the nine of swords. They trying to face their fears because this nine of swords is in the reverse. So this person, for some of y'all, your whoever they yo yo ex was that was dealing with this karmic energy, they were kind of afraid to leave this person at one time. But now they facing their fears and letting it go. They letting it go justice. Yeah, they they leaving this situation behind. They don't block this person, or they just kind of wall up with this person, and they they trying to move on with their life. Maybe they felt like they weren't gonna be. Look, this Knight of Wands. That's too many though. This Knight of Wands. Yeah, this player. They they thought they was gonna be stuck with this person because again, they had messed everything up with you. They messed it up with you. But now that the truth done came out about this comic, your person is like, fuck them. I'm going to go make something right with the collective. It's, at, at first, they were scared with the Nine of Swords. Because y'all got to ball up with them. But they was like, mm -mm. I'm going to come in with this love offer. And shit, I'm going to let my next move be my best move. And I'm going to tell them how I feel. <laughs> Look, nice and slow. Ushers, they not going to rush you collective. They going to tell you, you know... Can we talk? Let's just move slow. Just, you know, I know I got to gain your trust. But now that this third reporter done been exposed for lying, <laughs> they losing everything. Justice. This is karmic justice, though. They supposed to. And you're going to be able to see this person lose everything. Because something that was once stuck with the hermit in the reverse is becoming unstuck. This person is now ready to come out of isolation. Something is about to come back around. Something that was done. With this being a nine, it's about to come back around. Hermit in the reverse. And really on the cool, see what I'm saying? Ace of Swords on the top. On the cool, the fact that your person had to go through this scenario with this karmic energy, listening to this person lie, talk about you, try to ruin your reputation, try to make you look so fucking stupid. <clears throat> and to get exposed, that's the worst feeling in the world because everybody gonna know you a liar because these are the same people who you was talking to 
when they were trying to ruin your reputation. The same people that these cormacs was talking to <clears throat> are going to be the same people that turn their back on them and laugh at their ass in their face. And that's why they're in despair. Because even the people that they thought was on their side, not even on their side no more. I cannot believe it. Told you. So now you got somebody finna come back towards you after leaving a damn cormac in the dust for lying. Coming back towards you because I feel like whoever your person is, they always have feelings for you. It's always been coming out. It's been coming out in all the readings. Somebody, the person had feelings for you, the king of coast. But they were hiding their true feelings because they were too busy listening to other people. Well, guess what? <laughs> they, they coming out of that energy. Got them fucked up. They trying to f be strategic though. They definitely have to be strategic because I feel like a lot of y'all, if this person come towards y'all expressing their emotions, you're going to feel like they're playing mind games. <laughs> so they trying to devise a plan, you hear me, to get you to believe that, you know, they ready to give and not just take from this connection. But baby, the karmic, they trying to do anything to keep your person, I think, or keep these people on their side, baby, but it ain't working. King of Pentacles, I'm telling you. They trying to. They was giving your person money. They was giving your friends buying them stuff and shit just to keep them stuck. But it's no. See, I, I can't make it up. But you see, the hermit is in the reverse. This karmic was basically paying people to to be their friend, giving people shit, taking them places, all type of shit because they were able to do it. You know, they were financially stable. They could, but it was only to keep these people stuck. It was a whole lie. It was a whole lie, especially the lie that they was telling telling your person. It was a whole lie. <laughs> Look, Ace Lovers, Ace of Cups, King, King of Wands, yep. Full Swords. This person stopped this person in the past from coming towards y'all collective. They did. They stopped it because it was actually genuine love in the past when you got with this person. The Lovers and the Ace of Cups, King of Wands, this person was happy when they met you, and then something stopped it. And it was this karmic. And your person, see what I'm saying? Now your person mad that they say I'm feeling like a motherfucking fool for even listening to this goddamn person. Page of cups. They see that this person is emotionally fucking immature and they don't receive some type of karma with judgment. Shit. So, I mean, as far as the karmic go, this person is just going crazy because everybody that they thought was on their side is turning their back on them. I mean, but that's their own fault. <laughs> that is their own fault. <clears throat> and when it comes to the collective person, spirit, when it comes to the collective person, because this is somebody who wants to talk to you, they want to right, they wrong, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> they do, but how can they make it up to you, you know what I'm saying, they want you to, you know, Please give them the opportunity to make it up to you. Queen of Wands, y'all like, Chad, y'all don't need this person. And they know it. And they know it. <clears throat> and when it comes to the collective person, what do the collective need to know about this person? When it comes to the collective person. Okay, let's get the energy of the karmic out the way. Because we see that everybody is seeing right through the karmic, you know, <clears throat> at this time. They, 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 all these karmics are being exposed for being in karmic energy. And the word karmic only just means less than, but still, you thought you were in a situation with somebody and it was love. It wasn't. It was a lesson. You were a lesson to somebody and they thought it was going to be forever, but it, it's not. This happened for a reason. I don't know why it happened for you and your person, but it happened for a reason because one of y'all, or both, if not both of y'all, had to learn a fucking lesson. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit. And, and it's like, that's what your person did. They was listening to all the wrong people when it came to a connection with you, and they looking stupid, feeling stupid, because now they want to come back towards you and make something right, but you're not making it easy for this person. They can't just come back towards you like they used to connect. They can't. And that's what's going on in this person's head. Again, you don't make them a believer. Can I say once I'm gone, I'm gone. That's it. Hey, do you still love me? That's that's what they want to know. <clears throat> the love we had stays on my mind. You here, child. I'm done. Y'all, let me shut up. Y'all know every time I talk, if, if the cord ain't coming out, the sun coming out. But they look, that person can't stop thinking about the love y'all had.
What if we can make the good to go back and close the steer? The baby, they, they just crying. Again, they is. You have made this person a believer. Please accept my apologies. How can I make it up to you? Please talk to me. Do you still love me? They hope they can fix what's broken. Child, and what is this? Two of swords. I told you. Difficult decisions. So, what is this difficult decision that the collective person is trying to make? What is this difficult decision? Look, three of swords. <laughs> What is this? Three of cups <laughs> in the reverse and the five of cups, baby. The tough, the, the difficult decision that your person is making is walking away from a third party that they fucking don't want to come back towards you. But there's a lot of trauma coming back towards you and the guilt is eating this person alive. That's what that is. That's what that difficult decision is. Do they, can they even fix what they broke? How can they make it up to you? This, this person knows that they hurt you with the word trauma right there, but they think it's the gift that's eating them alive. It is. Look, the lovers. Hmm. Because for some of y'all, they definitely chose somebody else over you, and it was because of what they people were saying about you or because of what this person, this particular comic, was saying about you. But it was a lesson. Because the love y'all had. Stay on this person's mind. What else about this person? But they had a difficult decision. I feel like this is past energy. They had a difficult decision in the past between you and somebody else, and they chose somebody else. And now this person is basically crying, traumatized because of what they're going through in this other situation when they could have stayed with you and experienced that 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 real genuine love that they had. Look, ten of swords. Mm. This person is going through a very bad, painful ending collective. Yeah. And now they getting the chance to feel the pain that they caused you. Because their whole life is like going up in flames. Devastation. This person is losing. They losing it all too. They took a risk. They took a gamble. Because I'm looking at that card. They took a gamble and they lost. In another direction. Look. Walked out of heaven. Came not back. Let me shut up. What's going on with this person? Queen of Cups. Mm. This person is thinking about you because I'm telling you, like I said, they thinking about how they could have been with somebody who was like really loving on them, only to lose it. <laughs> only to lose it, collective. What is this temperance it's going crazy? In the reverse, rolling down a lonely highway. Asking God to please forgive me for messing up the blessing he gave to me. I see everything clearer now. I told you now that this person I've been exposed. <laughs> it was a lesson. But without you collecting, this person feel like they finna lose it. And they praying that God would just shed his grace on them. <laughs> Feels like I just walked right out of here. What? This person feel like they done damn near through their whole fucking life away, collect. All because they don't have you. Yeah, I see it. All because they don't have you. <clears throat> they don't know what to do to get back right with you. They all don't. They all know. And y'all highly protected. What? And y'all highly protected. Look, strength. Look, this person trying to find a motherfucking curse. They want to just get back right with you. My mama told me that if it's meant to be, she'll come back and she'll forgive me. <laughs> and the best thing I can do is just let her go, but I don't. I don't want to do it. <laughs> she. They nights have been very dark without you. It's a reality, though. They didn't treat it like you wanted to be treated. Four of Cups. Yeah. This person, they didn't treat you like you wanted to be treated, collected. They held back from you. And <laughs> look, and now they feel like you're leaving them behind. You're moving on with your life and they die because they feel like they don't walk out of here. They don't know what to do to get back right with you. What? 
They trying to find the courage though to come back towards you. They yeah, they want you back. They want a partnership to a cup. But see, it's being blocked. Either y'all blocking it or it's being blocked um energetically or spiritually. You are protected. Jeez, I don't know, but why is the Ten of Swords here? We know why this person had, this person had to make a difficult decision in the past. They chose wrong. Now the person that they chose to over you, there's a painful ending taking place in that situation. It's just a lot of turmoil going on in this person's life with this other situation. It is Ten of Swords. Look, but this was justice because they chose a snake over you. Yeah, like I don't walk down here now. If you ever love somebody, they getting what they deserve. Because you got the law right here. They getting what they deserve, and they know it. Look, Ace of Cups. They don't know what to do to get back right with you. Because they betrayed you. But they want to make it right with you. They want to have a brand new beginning with you. Look, they want you. <laughs> and this person mind like teamwork. Make the dream work, please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Look, I'm telling you, please. Hoping, baby. Praying. This person is on their face. But Lord, please shed your mercy and grace on me. The collective is my wish fulfillment. They know they can have prosperity with you. <laughs> but a lot of y'all walking away, y'all don't let it go. And they don't know what to do to get back right with you. Mm -hmm. One more for the time for it. Look, eight of Pentacles, yeah, they have to learn a lesson though. But I feel like for some of y'all, they gonna learn this lesson and they gonna master it. Y'all mastered y'all lesson. Y'all walked away, let it go after a betrayal. It was done. And look, now I kind of feel like this person is gonna try to come back towards y'all and you know, put their best foot forward to make it up. <laughs> Look, Ace of Pentacles, I cannot make it up. Manifestation. I'm looking at the Queen of Cups. This person is manifesting. You collected. They trying to. They praying and they asking God. Hey, you mean? It ain't even that. They just trying to. I got to sneeze, y'all. I feel it. Look, I'm still waiting, Joe. They said this person. They don't. If they have to wait, collective, they gonna wait. You may not think they're going to wait on you or they wait on you. Oh, but they are. This is Queen of Swords. They know right now you're a little bit upset with them. Look, wise truth seeker. They, they know you ain't, you know, you with the shits at this point. Because when you was trying to love them, they was too busy listening to every motherfucking body else. Stabbing, too busy stabbing you in the motherfucking back. That's why they feel like they don't walk out of heaven. Because even though they did everything that they did to you, Ten of Swords, you still in this Queen of Cups ass energy. You still virtuous. You still devoted and loving and caring. But you ain't about to be fucked with either. <laughs> she, you're not. And they know it. They know it, but they want you anyway, collective. Two of swords. This person is manifesting a reconciliation with you. Finding the courage and the strength to push through to try to get this back. This person gonna do everything in their power to try to get you back. They, I'm telling you, they so optimistic about moving forward with you, collective. I told you, they finna let they best they next move be their best move this person was playing checkers at first this, you see this chessboard they say shit they finna be strategic they made an impulsive ass decision in the past but they they finna make this quick decision to go for what it is they want and what they want is you this person is going crazy with the temperance in the reverse they feel like their life done lost you know it's balanced because you're not in it not saying they need you to survive but they kind of need you to want to survive. You know what I'm saying? They don't need you to survive, but they want to survive with you. Shit. 10% of the reverse. See what I'm saying? Queen of Pentacles. They went towards another situation. Maybe for some of them, it was a baby mother, it was a wife, or they was listening to a mother or a wife, but it, it, it put them in a very unbalanced place. And look, see, they want to come back. You were this person's peace. You nurtured this person. You did. Because you were generous, you were sensible. I'm telling you, you loved on this person. And that's all they think about. King of Wands, that's why they want to come towards you. You hear me? Love, chariot. But maybe your person is going to try to come. There's a past person who is stuck on you. I, but, but I feel like it was their negative thoughts and what people were saying about you and, you know, them just being very indecisive and very confused, living in a motherfucking illusion. They got them caught up in a whole situation that 
really didn't have nothing to do with you. I just kind of feel like y'all were put into this person's path to teach them a lesson. And I kind of feel like they learning their lesson, whoever this is. Being without you is making this person go crazy. It's making them very unstable because see, y'all or y'all free spirited if this person wanted to be but i feel like this is y'all this butterfly it's the knight of wands but you know the knight of wands ain't always a bad coin y'all are very passionate about whatever it is y'all did whatever transformation you went through you was passionate about passionate about going through that transformation going through that change and now that you've turned into this beautiful ass butterfly this person is obsessed with you they cannot think of any but they arms are, are open wide just a little love is all they need. <laughs> yeah, just a little love is all they need. They still waiting. Just to feel your love, warm and grace. I think that's what they said, she. But they still waiting. Look, see what I'm saying? But they feel like you just, you know what I'm saying, shutting them out, seven to one. They feel like you, you know, you opposing them coming back towards you. And a lot of y'all are. A lot of y'all are. I can't tell. I think this is the. This is the Seven of Pentacles, but it says falling on hard times. <clears throat> <clears throat> now, for me, the Seven of Pentacles talks about taking a pause to reflect on what it is you have invested in, what you want to invest in. You know, what, what do you want in life? Where do you want to go? I kind of feel like this person had no direction. They didn't know what they wanted. But now, as they sit in this nine of swords as energy, thinking about their life, contemplating, you know, what their next move going to be, they know that they want something stable. <laughs> Maybe this person lied to themselves, telling themselves that they wanted to be single forever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what happened. But this person definitely feel like, you know, there's going to be opposition if they come towards you telling you that, you know, they, they want to work things out. Because y'all are definitely moving on. Y'all haven't stopped y'all life. See what I'm saying? Judgment. They want another chance. But they feel like it's you, like, mm. They feeling like they about to miss an opportunity. You hear me? They want this new beginning, baby. They want this new beginning. Y'all blocking this person from coming not only are y'all blocking this person with the seven of wands, y'all are even blocking this person with your arms, with your hands, child. That's why this person, they feel rejected because they feel like this is being blocked. For some of y'all, it's your ancestors blocking it. It's the spiritual realm because maybe this person ain't learned what they need to learn to be with you. I don't know. Maybe they learned something in another, another situation, but who's to say that they done learning lessons? I don't know, but they want a new beginning with you. The high priestess, look, but y'all ain't talking to this person because you're trusting your, intu your intuition. But look, <laughs> the high priestess and the high So, I don't know. This going to be like a catch 22 type of situation. What if? Give me one more for the four cups. The four of wands. Yeah, this person feel like you are blocking. Oh, well, they, I ain't gonna say they feel like you doing it, but some of y'all are. Some of y'all probably got this person blocked. Y'all don't change y'all number. Y'all don't move. The, or they being blocked energetically. Again, it could be your ancestors, but it's because they being judged because they have to go through some type of rebirth in order to be able to have a celebration and be with you and have something stable with you. Because if they don't go through this rebirth, they're just going to lose you. You're moving forward. Six of swords, you're moving to calmer waters. You're being guided to calmer waters by your ancestors, by these angels, your outlet. And this person is just thinking about things that taking time out with the seven of pentacles, taking time out to think about the things that they have invested in. And what have they brought them? What do they have to show for whatever they doing? Look, the two of pentacles. Juggling obligations. See this person because they didn't know what the fuck they wanted to do. Y'all made a decision for this person, and they they realized that, of course, you know they couldn't make you wait on them. They was hoping you would, but no, y'all got enough self confidence to move forward and 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 win by yourself. And that's exactly what y'all did. Y'all moved on, and now y'all winning by y'all self having being recognized for shit and being um celebrated. Look the check. Look success. What? And you having some type of success, some type of glow up. Yeah, they, they definitely feeling some type of way. The king of wands. <laughs> now they want to take take some type of action and come towards you. To have some type of commitment with you now, collective. Now that you're gone. Look, 
stressed and wondering, are you going to take them back? Will you even talk to them? How can they fix what they broke? It's the question with this person, with the karmic. It's like, bitch, I'm mad I can't be you, but I wish I was you. And, you know, everything I said about you or tried to make people think about you done backfired. You know what I'm saying? But still, fuck you. So it's like, they still, the karmic still ain't learning they got. They listen. But they don't learn because y'all are definitely protected. But your person is sick. They see. They are like, whatever this judgment and karma they going through. Well, we got this person going crazy over you. Because, again, y'all moving forward. Y'all y'all are just, like, very successful. Y'all, whatever y'all doing, y'all successful and you stable. Look, I just got a notification. So, that's confirmation. And and both of these people is getting karma for fucking with you. So, let me get the other one. We're going to see from two different point of views, what's that coin? Oh Lord, I didn't know that this uh this video would just sound like Yeah. I can always say that again. What's the uh karmix call for trying to ruin the collective's reputation? The karmic can be a romantic interest, it could be a family member, a friend, you know what I'm saying? So you know your situation, I mean. What is this karmic's karma for trying to ruin the collective reputation? What is that karma? <laughs> I told you. They in despair. Because they about to lose everything. They going to be depressed for a long time. For a long time. Oh, some of them, I mean, I ain't making fun of it because my little brother, you know, God rest his soul. You know, he's deceased. And he, you know, died. From cancer, but that's on the bottom of the deck. Somebody gonna find out they got something that they can't get rid of, and they gonna be depressed about it, which is most likely the nine times out of ten gonna put them in a very bad place. Look, and they may end up having a car accident, and if that happens, you know, will they make it out? I don't know. What's going? What's the the collective person's karma <laughs> in this situation? Poisoned. Ooh. Child. Y'all, the third party may try to poison y'all person. Or they may try to poison the kids to keep, you know how some parents hurt their children. Oh my God, that's so stupid. I will never pick up on this shit. But there's going to be a, a karmic energy who's going to use the kids to keep this person from coming toward y'all. And how they're going to do it is they're going to be making the kids sick. Yeah, this person going to have a psychotic break. And they're going to go crazy. And when they go crazy, see, because they in despair because they losing everything. So the only way to kick, look, some of them going to even, <laughs> they going to say, I'm going to do that to myself in front of everybody if you don't. Baby, let me stop. I forgot this deck was dark. I didn't forget it was dark, but baby, I didn't know how dark it would get. How quick it would get dark. <laughs> I but that in itself, that little bit right there is enough. But let's see. Oh, I get some final messages. So maybe these people is losing their motherfucking minds, but that's what they did. That's what this karmic energy get for trying to make you look bad and ruin your reputation. And that's what your person get for not having enough faith in you as a person, you know, put into their life that they chose somebody else over you and now they regret it. <laughs> yeah. So what is this? What's the karma for the third quarter? Maybe this should come out soon. Paranoia, distrust of others, hypervigilance, accusation, arguments. Yeah, they ain't just gonna go crazy. They going crazy because they losing everything, and and that's what they get. Like I said, everything that they were saying about you is backfiring, and it's backfiring times a thousand. <laughs> because who fighting for y'all? Archangel Michael. What? I think that's the baddest angel it is when it comes to fighting. Sit back. Two steps forward, three steps back. Held back, no breaks, failures, frustration, I'm telling you. And they ain't able to move and do nothing. They can't do nothing. And y'all over here just shining, moving towards success. Time. Delusion. <laughs> Disbelief in their failed attempts. Blocked. Wasted energy. Shocked. Weak. Confused. 
And here, please, I told you, baby, the karmic is, is, is in despair because they losing every fucking thing. They, they lost. You lose. You lose. I don't even know if you and this person going to get back together, but they lose. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy and spirit. But again, for some of y'all, if they have children by this karmic energy, just tell your person to to be vigilant and keeping an eye on them kids. You know what I'm saying? Not being right up under them. If you and this person decide to get back together, just know that if the, your person kids getting sick a lot, it's because the parent is doing something to them. And tell your baby daddy or your baby mom, that baby mama to call CPS or whoever they need to call to get them kids out that person's house because they may end up, you know, really poisoning them, poison them to the point where they don't wake up or something and Spirit is letting you know this person is about to be so delusional. This karmic energy. Mm. Oh, child. And if anything happens to them kids, your person go kill ass. <laughs> when I turned that over, I said, oh, behind bars. Some of y'all, your person about to go to jail. Some of y'all dealing with somebody who they karma is. They finish serve some jail time. Uh, for some crimes that they may have done that you know nothing about. Or they're going to be guilty by association. But they about to go to jail. Or well, they're going to be framed. They're going to get caught in the act. Some warrants. Unpaid. Like something. Some of y'all dealing with somebody where they finna end up in jail. Look, or they going to feel like people turning their back on them. Shit. <clears throat> Baby. It's getting real. Look, yeah. And anybody that they try to fuck with collective after you because they walked out of heaven, they they threw their life away, they're going to be arguing and fighting with these people, whether it's friends or family. They're going to be stressed, dinosaurs as fucking energy, getting into it with every motherfucking body and not able to understand what the fuck is going on. See, because this is somebody who, even though you made this person a believer, they didn't believe. I feel like this person didn't believe in karma. They didn't believe in karma. One more spirit. But they fighting with everybody around them. If, and if not everybody, enough people to work is fucking with this person's head. Mm. And some of them may end up being in an accident. They could be riding down the street with this person and they arguing so motherfucking bad that they end up having a wreck or some child, but they're going to have a bunch of bad luck. A bunch of bad luck. Some some of y'all, somebody gonna get out of about being, a, you know, on the DL. Mm, and they looks gonna change. Oh my god. <laughs> Child. I love these karma cards, but yeah. These two people are catching hell. They are. And the, the karma kind of envy you collective because it's like they try to make everybody see you in a, 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 a negative light, but. For some reason, you shining. You know what I'm saying? And they look stupid. And then your person look even more stupid because they was believing this person and they chose this person. And now look at them. Now they got to figure out how the fuck they can get you to at least open back up to them and talk to them because they don't walk out of heaven. What the fuck? Are they, how are they going to get back in heaven? And I'm going to know. Uh, say, Joe, go, go get Jesus real quick. Let me tell him. Let me holler <laughs> Y'all gonna say, look, nigga, you know you can't go. <laughs> man, just go get Jesus, man. Let me tell let me how it is. He's like, Jesus, come on to the gate. <laughs> he like, man, say, please. I realized where I went wrong. He's like, okay, what go wrong? You're right. It's like the how. I don't know. Jesus said, figure that. They don't know how to figure that out. They just want to know, do you still love them? Shit, if they if they knew the answer to whether or not you still love them, I feel like they would then maybe try to you know put their best foot forward and do something about it. But I kind of feel like they're a little bit scared because they don't know how you feel. You know what I'm saying? They don't know how you feel. And then they don't know by John B. So what's the closing messages for the reader spirit? When it comes to this energy, whatever the collective need to know or be aware of. But the karmic is delusional, baby. They delusional and depressed. <laughs> you know, person is about to get locked up. <laughs> or in a car accident. <laughs> and I'm not laughing about them being in a car accident. I'm just laughing at the karma that's playing out in these people's life. Yeah, I can't make it up. See what I'm saying? This King of Cups is moving up. With this third third party, that's they moving away from this person. Six, they being guided away from this person. A lot of y'all just don't see it. 
they y'all just don't see it. It's hidden right now. But they leaving this third party, baby. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles, and, and I feel like the reason that this person is being blocked from coming towards you or being in your energy is because they have to close out a karmic cycle. This is a karmic cycle for your person that has to be closed, that closed out before they can actually come towards you. Shit. Look, you got two protectors. Like I said, some of y'all is not only Archangel Michael. You got ancestor spirit guys. You got everybody protecting you. They, look, at, look at all the animals surrounding you. All the protection surrounding you collectively. This person got to walk away from things that don't serve them because, again, you somebody that's of high status. You are. And see, they just too toxic. Yeah. But this is definitely a soulmate connection. And I do feel like you and this person are destined to be together with the star and the wheel of fortune. But it's going to be after a time of separation and fucking confusion. See what I'm saying? Seven of cups, nine of swords. Yeah. So it's a temporary pause, seven of pentacles, because the person needs to figure out what the fuck they want. But they will be coming in with communication after going through a transformation, after going through that rebirth that they need to go through. But again, will y'all give them another chance? I don't know. I don't know. Will you? That's a question for you. Will you give them another chance, good lady? Will you? Tell the truth. Find a message. Look, obsession. Someone in this connection is flipped with obsessive thoughts. And it ain't nobody but your person. Look, I told you long that somebody is yearning for you. I told you ain't nobody but your person. What's the final message, Spirit? When it comes to this reading. Look, balance. One person is giving too much in this relationship. One more. Final message for the collective. Spiritual lesson. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. I feel like that's what it was. You were maybe given too much to this connection with this person at one time, and there was divine intervention. You learned your lesson. You're in a different place now, and now this person have to go through their lesson because they thought they was going to just have a, 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 a strictly sexual connection with you. It could have been a very passionate connection, but it was not enduring. It wouldn't last. So the universe stepped in. And you are divinely protected. You are. So, I don't know what's going to happen, but for a lot of y'all, this was definitely a lesson that you had to learn, and now they're learning a lesson. So, but whatever they thought, this karma thought they was going to do when it comes to ruining your reputation, backfire. Whatever your person thought they was going to achieve by choosing somebody else over you, backfire. <laughs> but you... Loving yourself and standing strong in your motherfucking power. And that's why this person wants you back. You heard me. But I'm going to end it right there because I've been talking too goddamn long. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the reading.